welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to do this video today. Well, first of all, I'm excited to be back. It's been forever since I last filmed a video and I know I didn't upload it all last week. So I apologize for that, but I just kind of needed like a break, you know, like to recoup and whatnot. And I wasn't jet lag. I just wanted... I don't know, like I didn't have any motivation, I guess you would say. So what I spent time doing last week was just designing stickers that I'm actually going to be putting out on my shop on Friday. So if you love planning, stickers, scrapbooking, definitely check out my shop on Friday. There will be a ton of new stickers and I'm so excited for you guys to see everything that I have been designing and drawing all last week. <laughs> so yeah, onto this video, I asked you guys on Twitter what video you wanted to see for today and a lot of you really wanted me to do a handbag reveal. So yeah, here I am. I'm going to be doing my reveal on the purse or handbag that I purchased in Paris. I am so, so, so very excited about it. I think it's so beautiful. It's like my favorite handbag at the moment. It's either this or my Kensington. I don't know. I guess I don't really know because I haven't used this bag. Um, that much. I used it just like a few days last week um, but now I'm back into my Kensington just because it's been kind of raining but anyways um, I just really love this bag and the day that I got it uh, was just so 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 much fun so um, I don't know I'm like so excited and nervous at the same time to share it with you guys but yeah so this is the bag right here it is a smaller bag you guys and I didn't get a box this time just because I didn't want to carry a big box throughout the airport and stuff. Last year it was so hard, like it was such a hassle. So yeah, I just asked for a bag and a dust bag and good to go. So anyways, I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, this is my very first Louis Vuitton purchase this year and I'm just... Uh, I have it. I'm so happy about it, you guys. You guys know I don't really purchase handbags that often. If I do, it's always like on sale or like pre-loved or something. But like buying things brand new, that's a lot of money to me. So this bag, I was literally saving up since like October for it. And when we finally got to the store, at first I was iffy about this bag because I originally wanted a whole different bag like whole different bag whole different brand and i went to see that bag i loved it they didn't have the color that i wanted and i didn't want it to settle um they had something that was similar but i wasn't like oh my gosh i love it it's perfect i would use it every day like no so i ended up not purchasing that bag uh, maybe in the near future if i find it in the color that i want um that I absolutely want, I will purchase it, but um, yeah, I didn't find it there. So I went to Louis Vuitton and I had this handbag in mind and I didn't know it came in this color because it was just like released. It was on the website, but not in the American website. So I didn't even know if they would have it um, at the Champs Elise flagship. I don't know if that's the proper name of it, but I walked in with my husband and like literally I'm like okay let's just go look and see what they have and um I saw it on the shelf and I literally pointed at it and I was like oh my god Tom that is the one and it was so beautiful like I, I had to have it um it was the only one in Paris at the time so I was like it is so meant to be and I did consider the other colors because it does come in other colors and um this one is just perfect. It's just so me. And Tom was like, no, you have to get that one. So, ah! <laughs> so anyways, I've been blabbing a lot. Sorry. Um, but I'm just so happy about this bag, you guys. And I'm actually, like, like I said, I've used it, like, a few times last week. But I'm still, like, very scared to use it because, you know, it's, like, a whole different thing. It's not canvas. You guys will see. So I'm just, like kind of scared at the same time and just huh. so anyways let me just take it out all right so i kind of wish that they gave me a bigger dust bag for this but that's okay so are you ready it's pink <laughs> i'm pretty sure you guys would have guessed that it's gonna be pink um but let me take her out here she is look how beautiful that is it is literally the perfect shade of like pink Oh my gosh, so yeah, this is my new baby. 
oh my gosh, I love it so much. So this is called the Speedy Bandolier in a size 20. I believe this is the smallest one. Um, and as you can see, it is not canvas. It's called Impure Mint or something. I do not know how to say that. And the color is Rose Powder, the new one. So I think I already said it, but this is not out yet in the U US. I'm not sure. Like it's not on the website, but if you're in Europe, it's already on their site. That's why I didn't even know if I could get it over there. But yeah, it was the only one they had and it was so beautiful. So that is it. So this is what it looks like. I will go ahead and show you guys close-ups, of course. So it does have the top handles here and they do fold down, which is really nice. So when you're carrying it, you know, with the straps, which by the way, these straps are detachable. So when you're carrying it with the straps, the handles don't just stick out. These straps are also adjustable. I do have it on the shortest right now. Um, I will also insert model clips later on, but I think the length is pretty good. I could probably poke another hole there to make it a little bit shorter, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So yeah, the, the hardware on this is all gold, super nice and shiny. I love, love, love it. There is a Louis Vuitton stamp on the removable straps. There's also Louis Vuitton stamps on all the hardware by the handles. It does come with this... Crochet, I think that's what they're called and there are keys underneath it and the keys are gold hardware of course and the lock right here is still on the zipper I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there I don't think I will I think eventually I will just take it off and put it in its own little dust bag and then right here there is a stamp right in front of the purse it says Louis Vuitton Paris and then those two cute little gold studs right there this right here is actually a pocket so i plan on just putting like maybe my phone in there or something on the other side there's no pockets so that is what all that pretty much looks like on the outside i love the embossing on the leather i think it's beautiful it does go all the way around like that the inside of this is also pink with the beautiful stripes you guys like it's stunning it's not a light pink like if i was to compare this to the rose ballerine which i'll show you guys later like a comparison it's not as light so i like that a lot there is a side pocket on the back like that and this is the tag of this bag louis vuitton paris made in france and i do not know where the date code is where is it where is the date code? So the date code on this, if you are wondering, is DU0127. Ugh, she's so, so, so beautiful. So we'll go ahead and show you guys the mod clips right now. So here I am, just, you know, me wearing it on the crook of my arms. I think it's super cute and adorable. And then... Here is what it looks like if it's just on my shoulder. So yeah, it's pretty long, I think. Um, I might have to make the straps a little shorter. And then this is what it looks like crossbody. I usually wear this crossbody anyways. I just like wearing things crossbody um, just because I feel like, you know, it's not gonna fall off me because I don't pay attention at the time with my handbags. I know that's kind of bad, but I really don't. And that is what the bag looks like. I'm just so, so, so very happy about this bag. It's so beautiful. She's so just like delicate. I love it. I think it's gonna be perfect for like spring and summer. And I don't really wear a lot of like denim. Um, I do, but all my denims are like washed, like, already so i don't really worry too much about color transfer i don't wear a lot of dark clothes either so i think i'll be okay you know i still have my felici in the azure print and i haven't had any color transfer in that i know wear that bag all the time so i think i'm gonna be okay with this one um even though i'm still a little bit scared about it like you know i'm still like babying it a little bit but yeah, I'm just so excited, you guys. And if you're wondering, I did try the Speedy 25. And I guess I felt like that one really looks like a bowling bag on me. So I went with this size. It's a lot daintier and just fits me better, I think. If you're wondering, it also came with like a little booklet, which I thought was really cool. It tells you how to take care of it. 
Um, also came with a little tag that says cowhide leather, man-made interior lining. You know, like the huge. And this is the tags or the barcode for this bag. I also got a little dust bag to put my keys and lock in if I wanted to. So super cute. And I think that wraps up this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it as a comment down below. If you want to see what can fit in this bag, let me know. I would love to do that because I have already downsized everything. So everything fits in here um, just perfectly. I'm like so excited about it. So anyways, yeah, if you want to see that video, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you back here. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!